Okay, so welcome to this video on the Creator Studio inside of Facebook October 2020. So Facebook went through some major changes recently and, and has been pushing its users to the Creator Studio to post and schedule both video and images inside their app. So you can no longer schedule a post directly on your Facebook business page. You do have to go to the publishing tools and then to the Creator Studio. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Creator Studio to do just that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video, Creator Studio and how to find it, because it's not the easiest studio to find considering that Facebook actually created it for people to use and to enhance their use usability on Facebook. So share my screen with you again. And you can go straight to the Creator Studio from your Facebook business page. So if you come up to your Facebook business page and on the left hand side, if you scroll down, it's got what's known as publishing tool. So you can click that. And then what you want to do is you actually want to go here where it says Creator Studio. And what I would suggest you do once you've clicked that once is to actually copy the link above here and add it to your bookmarks. Okay, so this is the Creator Studio. This is where you can do all of your scheduling for all of your posts on your Facebook business page and also to your Instagram account. So in here, you can actually post to your Facebook business page and you can link your Instagram account to it and post to your Instagram account as well. So we're going to just show you, first of all, how to do your Facebook business page. So inside the Creator Studio, it's the same. If you manage more than one page, you just make sure that your page is showing up here like this. And then you go to post something and it's going to pull this side menu bar out. And this is where you can post. Now, remember to post the asset first. And when I say the asset, I mean either a video or a photo, because when you click on video, it's going to ask you to upload a video to your computer. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to pull that video into Facebook. And as you can see, it's automatically opened up the video portal. Now, if I'd done an image, it would have stayed on the right hand side for me. OK, so the video portal allows you to upload video. You would need to put your title so you can put your title goes here. If you don't add a title, it won't allow you to go to the next level. So when you go to click the next button, it won't let you go there without putting a title. And a title just helps identify your video in search, but also inside the video platform, the watch platform. Then your description goes here of what you are doing and also your links to your offers or your promotions or your sign up page or your website or your shop, you know, anywhere you want to take them or your YouTube, it goes here. Then what you can do in here is you can again add how you're feeling. You can check in the same. Ignore this one. This is like a different area that we won't go into at the moment. Tag your product if you want. Add a messenger button. If you add a messenger button, it enables people to message you about the content. Sometimes quite useful. The tags here help people find your video. So mine's about Facebook. So you can start typing it in. I prefer to do it this way, Facebook stories. And then you can click on Facebook stories and you actually create that tag. Or you can go through the browsed or you can use the ones that you use the most frequently. So that's this part of the introduction. So this is the, the first part. So you can see I've got my video, I've done my tags, I've done my description and I've done my title. Now what you want to do is you want to come down from the video details to the thumbnail. So the thumbnail allows you to choose the thumbnail from the options inside the video. So you can choose any of these and depending on how long your video is will depend on how many thumbnails you get a choice of. Once you're happy with one, you just click it. You can add a custom thumbnail from, from inside your computer. So you might have created one in Canva. If you don't know about thumbnails, I'm actually just recording a video about video thumbnails. And I will put the link to that underneath this video. You can also choose a video frame, which means that it will upload your video and you can pull this toggle all the way through until you get a video frame that you find useful. And then click Save. So that's the thumbnail. So we've done the video details. We've done the thumbnail. Then it allows you to add captions. So you can auto generate captions for your video or you can upload what's known as an SRT file, which you can get from rev.com. Or if you want to, you can manually write in the captions, which I probably wouldn't recommend for a 10 minute video. 
Okay, and then underneath, you can actually add a poll to your video. Not that many people use this feature, but if you do add this up, what happens during the video is that a little circle comes up and they click it and they can actually answer. Tracking is if you want to give it a specific label and the 360 director tool um, adds more details to your video if it's a 360, but we don't have a 360. Okay, so the main points to, to remember, video title, video description, pro products if you've got them, tag, and then the thumbnail, subtitles if you want, and then you click next. Then it's going to give you some options. So this is for video, don't forget. You can publish now or you can schedule. So this is the one we were going to talk about, scheduling your posts ready to go into your page. So you can schedule your post at any date. So let's do Wednesday and let's change this to 12 midday. And then all you have to do is click schedule. As you can see here, it says before you publish, is your video a minimum of three minutes long? It doesn't have to be a minimum of three minutes. It's just something that Facebook is trying to encourage users to do. Video description, tags, is it high definition? And then click schedule. What will happen is it will go into Facebook. Facebook will sort out the video, will render the video correctly, and then it will post it for you automatically on that date. So if you wanna see where that is after you've done, so let's just discard that and go to content library. It will show you here that you have a scheduled post and then you can go in and edit this at any time up until the time that it's scheduled. Okay, so let's go back to home a second. So that was to do a video. So if we were to create a post that was a tech, uh, an image, then you just go ahead and create post. And before we swap over to there, as you can see on the left, it says add to story, upload videos, upload multiple videos, go live, post videos across page. If I were you, I wouldn't upload a story this way because it's very limiting to what you can do. If you want to and you prefer, all you need to do when you start to post is just click the post something and it will pull this side window out. Again, it's the same thing. So you're going to add a picture, share a photo. It's going to pull the photo from your computer. So I'm going to grab the same one, click open. It's going to store it inside and then you put your description in here and your links and anything else that you might want. It's asking me to tag my photo with a product because I've got a shop. So if you have a shop and this is related to something in your shop, please do tag it. Only tag posts that are promoting that particular item. Don't just randomly tag posts with products if it's not talking about that product because you want to be really, really specific with this sort of strategy. Then underneath, obviously, you can do the same sort of things, feelings, get messages, check in, et cetera, et cetera. And then it's simple as that. All you do is you go down to the drop down button now. So I don't know what that little spider thing is, but here we have the publish button. There's an upside down triangle there. Click that and then you'll be able to schedule the post. So again, click on it, do the next day, time's fine and schedule. And again, that's going to go into Facebook and it's going to schedule that for you. And you can view your post in your content library where I said. So go here, content library, schedule. And there's the two that I've just posted. OK, so that's the Facebook page. Now, if you want to post like this and schedule posts like this for your Instagram, all you have to do is click this Instagram icon at the top. Now, if you haven't connected your Instagram account, to your Facebook business page. So this will already be showing your Instagram account. And obviously if you manage more than one Instagram account, then you just have to select the Instagram account that you want to post to. So we're gonna go for there and click view. And that's only gonna give me the, the content that I've posted to my Instagram account. And you can see all the posts that you've done here, all the videos that you've ever done, any photos you've done, any carousels that you've done, any stories that you've done, and any Instagram TV videos that you've done here. So this is a really cool area to start getting used to using. So on the desktop in Instagram, you can actually create a post for your Instagram feed, which is the nine squares, or you can actually go and upload to Instagram TV. So you've got two options and you can actually schedule to both of them. So this is really good if you spend half an hour, hour, a couple of hours, one day at the beginning of the week and actually get all of your posts scheduled for the week ahead. This saves you time and it will also enable you to just do the engagement during the week. So if you spend a bit of time creating your post, then when you go to engage in your with your audience, once your post has gone up, 
you'll be able to engage with them without having to worry about popping a post up first. So I'm just going to show you how to post to your Instagram feed. So you just go ahead and click Instagram feed. And again, it works the same way. So it's going to ask me to choose my page. Obviously, if you only got one Instagram account, then you would just do that. So post to Instagram feed. So here I would again add your content first. So click on the add content button by clicking the add content. You can actually um, file from your computer or you can grab a picture from your Facebook business page. So content and you click file upload and you choose a photograph from over here. Make sure that it's a square photograph. So let's just choose that one for now and click open. And that's going to upload that photograph for you. Then all you have to do is add your description. So add a description. Again, you can just copy and paste from the workbook that I've provided you in this course or you can um, write it as as you wish so if you wanted to copy and paste you could to add your description here here is also where you can put your 30 hashtags so it will tell you whether you've gone over your hashtags which is quite good because sometimes you don't realize if you've gone over too many hashtags if you do it on your mobile and you can also um, do the tagging like when you mention someone over on instagram so your description and your hashtags go here you can also add your location, which is really super important for search. So we can add your location. And that's pretty much all you have to do with Instagram. And then all you have to do over here is again, click the down, down, upside down triangle and click schedule, schedule the date and time and then click schedule. And what will happen is it will go into your Instagram content library over here. And you can look that you've got a post ready to be scheduled. And here it says post status. If you want to search them here, you can just click the scheduled and it will bring it up. So you can really check the times and the dates that you are planning ahead. So that's pretty much how you use the Creator Studio on the desktop. So let me just stop my share. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. You can obviously... How you post is entirely up to you, but if you do want to pre-plan your content, which is something that I strongly advise you to do, at least the five working days, you can perhaps do your weekend ones a little bit more spontaneously, but if you do one call post a day during Monday to Friday, using the Creator Studio to schedule it in, it will save you so much time because not only will you have everything done in advance, so you know what you're talking about in advance, you know what your social media goals are in advance, you'll have all of it done and it will allow you time to then just engage with your audience. One trick is that if you post at a similar time every day is to actually set a notification on your mobile phone so that when that post goes out, you can be ready to engage with those people who engage with your post. Because what you want to do is to make sure that if you engage with people who interact with your post straight away, that's going to tell your Facebook or your Instagram accounts algorithm that there is a lot of activity going on. So if people were to put comments underneath your post and you've scheduled it in advance and you don't answer them within, say, like 10, 15, 20 minutes, you're going to miss that extra boost that Facebook and Instagram can give you when when this two um, two way conversation happens underneath a post. OK, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget that if you like this video, please don't forget to give me the thumbs up and do subscribe to my YouTube channel and do check out the latest video coming up just here on how to use the Creator Studio on your mobile phone under the Business Suite app.